Hello. Hello. This is an update of a compilation video that I shot at the end of winter, beginning of spring, early on grown veg in the United Kingdom. <clears throat> I suppose you could say that this video is a compilation of compilations because I'm going to add to it, I'm going to add to that original compilation video. Now in that video I talked about growing shop-bought shallots, store-bought shallots and I planted four, in fact I planted more than four but on screen I planted four in a bucket and that was at the beginning of spring. Well we're now just coming up to the middle of our summer here at Home Grown Veg in the United Kingdom so there has been quite a bit of growth between then and now and I want to take you outside and show you that show you how those shallots have come on and I think I did recommend at the time that you might want to give it a go and if you chose to do that then you had ample time to do that and you would possibly be in a position now that I am with your shallots growing on in a bucket did you do it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Right, what, we, what I'm going to do now, I'll cut into that compilation video. When you watch that, right at the end of that compilation video, when you come back to me, we'll be in the garden and we'll be checking up how those shallots have done. Now let me ask you this before we do that. Hello Meg. Well Meg's ready to go, she's brought a ball. We put four shallots in that bucket. How many do you think they'll have divided off into? Just make a guess. Four shallots in, how many will they have divided off into? And they've divided off into sh potential shallots. I say potential because there's another month or two growing still in them and anything could go wrong. Fingers crossed it won't. But they're not shallots yet. They're not shallots, so we harvest them and get them dried and cured. Okay. They're growing on at the moment. Four we put in. How many do you think we're going to see when we go outdoors? Anyway, watch this first part. Watch this first part of the video. Then me and Meg will meet you outdoors. Yes, we will, Meg. Yeah, come on. Hello, we're going to be planting some store-bought shallots here at Ungrown Veg today. But before I do that, I want to cut you back to a short clip of video that I posted some weeks ago on the do's and don'ts of growing shop-bought shallots. Watch that video, then come back to me. You can regrow store-bought shallots. Well, that statement is only half true. But before I explain to you why it's only half true, have a look at these screenshots of shallots I've grown over previous years in small water buckets. Check them out, then come back to me. shallots I were growing were these standard shallots as I would call them a small round shallot in fact 
I think the last time I grew shorts I took them too soon, I took them as green onions. I should have left the tops to die off and the bulbs to properly form but I didn't do that. But yeah, you can definitely regrow this type of store-bought shallot. I don't know if you noticed on the screenshots and I don't know if I put some text on there but for each one of these I planted in the small bucket and I think there were four of them I got five in return simply planted these store-bought shallots do nothing more than sat them on the soil and waited and waited and waited and so many months later they are grown, they are all divided off and each one of these gave me five shallots. So yeah, you can definitely regrow these store-bought shallots. But what about these guys? These are store-bought shallots as well. Look a bit different, don't they? In fact, they look a lot different. Okay, these are a much longer shallot. These are a gourmet shallot. Uh, sometimes termed a banana shallot. Sometimes termed a chicken leg shallot. But you definitely cannot regrow these from store-bought shallots. How do I know? I've tried it. <laughs> yeah, I tried it. And now I know you cannot regrow these from store-bought shallots. You can grow these, not these. So if you're going to grow these, uh, what are you going to need? What are you going to grow them from? Well, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a packet of seeds. Because unlike these round shallots, these longer shallots grow from seed and you only actually get one shallot growing. Once that seed germinates it produces one shallot. These longer shallots do not divide off. The more akin to an onion than the shallots that we're used to in the United Kingdom these longer shallots grow like an onion. They grow from seed and you only get one shallot in return. These shallots grow from shallots and the shallot just divides off. That you can grow shallots from store-bought shallots is only half true. You can grow these store-bought shallots on and you'll get more shallots. These store-bought shallots you can't grow on. Uh, and I have a video on the channel to prove that. Uh, it was a, a monumental fail on my behalf when I first came across these um, gourmet shallots. But I posted the video because I think it's important if you do have fails, you should show your fails. Shouldn't you? You want Honesty from a gardening channel and if you haven't already subscribed to this gardening channel and you want honesty then now's the time to subscribe okay so I hope you've enjoyed this short video this is homegrown veg signing out Okay, so as you could see from that video, we don't want to be trying anything with these zebra and gourmet shallots, do we? They just won't cut it. They're the last four from the batch I grew last year and they've been in my garage now for about six months and they're about finished now. We need to eat these now uh, and we will do that in the next uh, few days. So I was quite pleased with the storage characteristics of these gourmet shallots, these zebra and shallots, they do store quite well. Right now these are the ones that we're going to be sowing. 
the scoreboard shall off. Okay, um, and basically what I did was I just picked the ones I wanted, got them weighed and paid for them. I can't actually recall how much I paid uh, for those shallots, but they look a nice, uh, they look a nice shallot, don't they? One thing I would say about shallots uh, that I've learned over the years, um, if that's a big one and that's a little one, um, if you plant a little shallot, chances are it will split off into fewer shallots, but when they grow they will be bigger. Okay, these bigger shallots, chances are they will split off into lots of shallots, but they will be smaller. So, so small shallots get big shallots. So big shallots get small shallots. Leave them till the end of the growing season and take them as shallots. Or take them earlier as green onions. Um, it's entirely up to you. It is. So I'm just going to do one bucket today. Uh, because I'm a bit pushed for time. And we'll choose them. Let's see, there you go, we'll plant those four shallots, hey it's so easy, when you see this, you'll give this a go, it is so easy, let me just have another sip of this tea, then we'll go and do it, okay, let's go and plant those shallots. Okay, don't blink or you'll miss this. I'll just pop these shallots down. This is one of my X cut flower water buckets, 10 inch water bucket. Some holes popped in the bottom for drainage. Soil out the garden. Nothing special about this. I did add um, some onion fertilizer to this when I made this bucket up. Not a lot, and I added it because I had some. If you haven't got any, don't worry about it. Garden soil will be okay if you haven't got any of that, and you have to buy a small bag of compost. Yep, that'll be okay. Right. You haven't blinked yet, have you? We're going to have a quick blink now. Have a quick blink, then we'll do this. Have you blinked? Okay, don't blink now. Point the end up, blunt end down. That's it! <laughs> That's it! Now you may look at this bucket now and say, well, could you not squeeze a few more in there? Well, yeah, you can if you want. Put as many as you like in. Uh, but what I've found is that these shallots in previous years have, have split off to about five shallots each. That's 20 shallots in this small space here now. You may want to go another shallot and perhaps get another five. You may get less, you may get more. But I find four works for me. And hey, what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose? Four shallots. You're going to do this. You may never have grown anything before in your life, particularly not vegetables, particularly not homegrown vegetables, but you can do this. Come on. How easy was that? Now I'm going to stand this in the greenhouse now simply because we haven't actually got into spring yet. We're not far away, uh, but we haven't got into spring yet. We're still getting a few storms and we're still getting quite a bit of rain. Um, so I think this will be better just stood in a cold greenhouse until the storms pass, pass us by. And the weather warms up and then I'll just move it outdoors. And they take no looking after. Honestly, they don't. They take no looking after. Occasionally you'll find one that's healed itself out, something like this, because the roots have pushed down and pushed the shallot out. Just pop it back in again like that. That's all you need to do. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you give it a go. 
If you do, let me know how you get on. Follow this channel, you'll find out how we get on. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out. So I've tied the leaves up out of the way and I'm going to attempt to count these shallots. Okay, let's do this one first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm making this shallot eleven. So that one shallot is split off into eleven. There you go, Meg. That one shallot is split off into eleven. Right, let's have a look at this shallot. We're on this side now, Meg. You need to bring your ball around here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hey, 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 you wouldn't believe it. This shallot split off into eleven. That's twenty-two. From those two shallots, we're now looking at twenty-two shallots. Let's see if we can get them across the finish line. Bring that ball round here, Meg, and I'll throw it for you. Okay, I'll come round here. You'll stay there. Right, I'm just going to um, turn this bucket round now, and then we'll catch the other two in back. Now, I don't know if these two are bigger plants, bigger shallots, but they certainly look to be a lot closer than the two around the other side. There's one here and there's one here. We'll do this one first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shallots on this station from one shallot. Seven shallots. Right, let's get around the other side. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that one in behind? Eight. I'm making that eight shallots. So we have seven shallots here, yeah? eight shallots here. Yeah? That's fifteen shallots. What was the other two? Eleven and eleven, twenty-two. Twenty-two and fifteen. 37 shallots. <laughs> we only put four in. We only put four in. Yes, we did. We only put four in. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tie off now and see if I can get you in a bit closer to have a look at these shallots. Wow. 37 shallots. Only put four in. I'm not too sure I'll get them all across the finish line, but we'll try our best. Yes, we will, Meg, won't we? We'll try our best. Right. Let me just uh, lift this camera up and see if I can get you in a bit closer. I can't get you any closer than that. You're right in the middle of the bucket now. Uh, you won't be able to see them all, I doubt, but that's what they look like. Four shallots growing in a 10-inch water bucket. If you want to see how these guys turn out, you're going to need to come back in a month or two, for definite. Okay, so this is Homegrown Veg, signing out.